Hello again. Um, what we're going to do today is um, trial fit the boiler to the chassis. Now then, um, the locomotive boiler is really only solidly fixed to the locomotive at the front end via the uh, smoke box, which I haven't made yet. I uh, haven't got any materials. Um, apart from these, um, that'll be the front smoke box ring which will sit approximately there and there's another ring here which makes the union between the smoke box and the boiler. So if you just imagine there'd be a the smoke box there fixed solidly to the chassis via this plate. Now then, the front of the boiler would then sit and be riveted to that union plate in round about this region here and that would be a solid fixing for the boiler. This front mount here is uh, the, the front boiler support. In, in time, that will be uh, bolted to this cross member and will sit in that position there. Also, it will be drilled and studded for some pegs, which will locate in, the boil, in one of the boiler uh, pads. Uh, uh, and that will be to uh, prevent any twist or any lateral movement. It will not hold um, the boiler physically to the chassis. Um, this rear support here is yet to be drilled. Um, there's no fixings at all in this portion here, i.e. it does not fasten directly to the chassis. There'll be holes drilled uh, here and here which will correspond with some tabs on the boiler which I'll show you later. And the idea is here that this will take the, the bulk of the weight of the rear of the boiler. And uh, because the thing gets hot and cold, the whole thing expands and contracts, and that will slide on that cross member there. It is not taking, it's not stopping the boiler from being lifted off or anything like that. It's purely taking the weight. And then finally, at this end, you've got some uh, expansion joints. These two gunmetal uh, pieces, these shoes, uh, are fastened to the uh, boiler foundation ring and they slide into these brackets here. So the boiler is returned to the locomotive, obviously because of these retaining plates, but it is it can it can move with the expansion and contraction of the boiler. Obviously, that this is much exaggerated. It'll only be a matter of thous, but um, it's it's got to be allowed to move. So what we'll do is I'll just, the video is basically just showing you how we uh, machined and made the these various parts, and we'll uh, conclude with the trial fitting of the boiler. Right, this is the front um, boiler support. Now then, this curved face here has got to conform to the, uh, the bottom of the boiler. And it's not, as a radius goes, it's not far off now. But um, the thickness of this webbing here is almost twice as thick as it needs to be. Now then, if we were to get the correct dimensions and take it from the bottom, it would mean us breaking into these cast pockets here from below sort of thing. So what we need to do is take some of this excess material down. Now then, um, in order to machine that um, feature, I've had to bugger about with the mill somewhat. As you can see there, the head's all tilted over and I've moved the vise across. And we've got a boring head in there. Now then, to determine the radius, 
because obviously with no datum point as such, I've roughly put a tool um, somewhere near uh, the correct radius, um, just using a ruler. And to get it more accurate, what I've, got, what I've done now is, is touch the tool on the top of the vise and then set a um, uh, zero the DRO, then put a stack of slip gauge in there. We know the diameter of this uh, quill, and therefore we know the radius. So we can we've got a height there above the vise. So in effect, we've got a distance from the centre line of the spindle to the end of the tool. Once we know that, we can adjust the tool to the correct um, radius on the uh, the dial up here. So that's the plan. Let's see if it works. Okay, that's that radius uh, finished machine now. Um, going back to what I was saying earlier on the machine. Um, the drawing calls for a reference thickness here of 330 settings. Um, and it was practically twice that um, as cast. Although the radius was, was reasonable to fit up against the boiler. Um, now then, we've got a dimension from here to a finished machined face here of um, oh, uh, 930 seconds now had we have left all that meat on here then when we machined up to uh, 930 seconds the machining would have gone into these pockets here so clearly unacceptable so the meat had to come off off here and that's the reason for that machining up all right onwards
Right, over to the boiler now. I've, I've upended it so you can see what's going on underneath. Uh, right, so this is the front end, the smoke box end down here. Now this curved uh, bracket which you saw on a loco will attach or, or will be pegged to the boiler, boiler pad there. This weight bearing uh, uh, bracket will in due course be drilled to match the holes in these um, the protrusions of the throat plate you see how the, the boilers uh, form there and the boiler makers left these tangs if you like so we can bolt to that piece there and then further up here um, we've got some let's get it focused there we go some threaded holes which will take these T pieces if you like So we'll get it up assembled as far as we can. These, by the way, are, have been tapped M3 by the Boilermaker. Um, I haven't got any M3 bolts, so I'll, I'll use some uh, temporary M3 screws just to hold them on for, for the purposes of this trial fit. Okay. Right, now we've got the uh, boiler mounted. Um, it, uh, it's quite surprising how, how big the thing looks when, when this is on. Um, been used to just seeing a chassis for such a, a long time and then you put the boiler on and it looks all of a sudden very top heavy. Um, although it isn't because I've measured it. And uh, one of the main reasons uh, for mounting the boiler at this stage or doing the trial mount of the boiler is to ensure that the uh, dimensions of the boiler um, marry up with the dimensions of the chassis. Now, Paul at uh, Southern Boiler Works made this for me well, just over four years ago now, and um, it's been languishing um, in the house um, for most of those years. Um, so I thought now was the time, because the, the chassis is quite well on to uh, trial uh, the boiler on it and just see how dimensionally the thing uh, stacks up and I'm pleased to say um, he's done a cracking job because um, as you can well first of all you can see where this mount is and the the mounting pad spot on again these lugs down here where it marries up to this bracket again spot on and the most important ones at the back here these and these, these were pre-drilled in the foundation ring um, by Paul and um, I just made these brackets and shoes to the drawing, um, exactly to the drawing and the whole thing has gone together beautifully. 
Um, no filing, no enlarging holes to make things fit. It's been spot on. Um, now then, with it looking all top heavy, and I thought, well, I better do some measurements and just to see how how things are in reality on the you know compared to the um, general arrangement drawing. And I'm pleased to say the heights from rail to the top, all along uh, the boiler, um, a cock on, the relative positions of various features um, relative to a similar point on the, the chassis, again, spot on. So, yeah, very pleased. And uh, I think the next job now is get the smoke box done. I can't do that yet because I ain't got any materials. Um, so I'm going to have to uh, order some up. Uh, but it's now starting to look a little bit like a locomotive. So, anyway, thanks again.